Hi, this is Chris Brown with the Power Player Lifestyle Magazine at the W Hotel here in the Bliss Spa, and I'm with the famous twins of the NFL. Hi, everybody. Devin McCourty on New England Patriots. Jason McCourty, Tennessee Titans. Wow. Welcome, gentlemen, to the Bliss Spa. How are you guys doing today? Thank you. Uh, we're having a good time. I'm uh, enjoying everything that's out here. It's been a nice little event to come to. Very well. Thank you very, very much. Uh, you guys are out of town. How, what is it like to be here in L.A.? And it's kind of raining. Kind of caught you by surprise? Well, we haven't even seen the rain yet. We just came. I guess we beat it. But, uh, yeah, this is my first time out in L.A., so I'm having a good time. Uh, last night, I got to go out, see a little bit of the town. So just looking forward to a good weekend. Good, good. What do you guys plan to do with the uh, NBA All-Star here? What event are you guys thinking about going to? Uh, thinking about going to the uh, Slam Dunk three-point contest. So. Oh, okay. That should be fun. Go see that, yeah. And yourself? Yeah, it's not the same thing. Everything he do, I'm doing. Okay, same. guys, brothers is going to stick together, <laughs> right? right? So tell me, what's it like being uh, brothers and being both in the NFL? I mean, I'm sure your parents are very proud of the two of you. Oh, yeah, my mom, I mean, she has probably, I think, three of his jerseys, three of my jerseys, one that's split in half with both of them. So <laughs> she uh, travels to the game, so she just loves it. But uh, the experience has been just a true blessing. I mean, we're able to talk every day, talk about different teams we're playing and just what's going on with his team and my team. So it's a beautiful thing. So how long have you been with Tennessee? Uh, this, uh, I just finished my second year. Second year, good for you. Yeah. And looking forward to how many more years to come? Oh, man, until they tell me I can't play. <laughs> okay, there you go. Good for you. And yourself? Uh, I just finished my rookie year with the uh, Patriots. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. How'd it go for you? It went pretty good. Uh, we played very well. Uh, I got some individual things that I didn't expect in my first year, so it was a fantastic first year for me. Anything that you can share with us? That, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, sure. I was selected to the Pro Bowl this year. Uh, good for you? Named second team All-Pro, so. Hey, was, congratulations, man. That's good year. for you for yeah. a rookie? Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Pleasure. So, now, does that, like, up your game a little bit? I mean. I mean, nah, I mean, uh, as an athlete, you compete, so I mean, every year I want to do the same, those same type of things. Uh, whether he does it or not, I'm going to be striving for it. And I was right there in Hawaii with him at the Pro Bowl enjoying it. So just proud to be able to turn on the TV, whether I'm in the league or not, to actually see your brother out there excelling. It's a, it's a nice thing. I think that's a really good thing for you guys. All right, cool, cool. Anything that you'd like to be sharing that you guys are doing outside of the game? You know, we're off season right now. Uh, is there any nonprofits you guys have, foundations you guys are thinking about creating, or anything like that? Yeah, well, we want to start a, uh, start our own foundation just for uh, probably single mothers. Uh, our father passed away when we were three, and uh, my mom oh, wow. did such a wonderful job raising us. And uh, then in the summer, we're having a camp as well. So just trying to continue to do those type of things just to be able to, for mostly the youth, and uh, see them to see us uh, doing well and kind of just have something to aspire to be. Well, I mean, that's a great story. Tell us just a little bit about growing up. Um, I mean, that's, your dad done it when you guys were three. I mean, that's pretty young. So mama would do the whole thing by herself. So. Give me, just tell me a little bit about what that was like for, the, for you and your family and just, you know, growing up. Where'd you guys grow up, by the way? Uh, yeah, I grew up in New York, right mm -hmm. outside New York City. Um, it was tough, but we feel like our mom did a great job uh, handling uh, the different adversity in our life. Uh, some things you can't control, and uh, I felt like she just took it on and took it in stride and said, all right, this is what I have to do next. And as far as she disciplined us, she showed us things that uh, supposedly a man's supposed to show you. So. Um, I just felt like her and my older brother just did a, a lot of things for us. So as far as any awards or anything, when I get a chance, like we went to Hawaii, they came with us. So I just want to give back the, to the community and to my family. Well, that's good. It sounds like you guys are really, really tight, which yeah. is really cool, you know. Yeah. I mean, and it's a great story. I mean, for African Americans like yourself and that family situation to rise to this place, I mean, you know, take my hat off to both you guys, Appreciate you know, and take your hat off to your mom because we were just talking in here amongst ourselves about. When you have kids as a parent, I mean, you take a back seat. It becomes all about them until they become men or grown exactly. women and are able to take it from there. So yeah, that's exactly what my mom always says to me. So she said, God never gave her nothing she couldn't handle. So she just attacked me. Well, God always, God's always there for all of us, you know. So yeah. great. Hey, gentlemen, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Thanks for I look us. forward to seeing both you guys out in the field and yeah. uh, making cool. some more records and stuff like that, okay? Definitely. Thanks for sharing this time with the Power Player Lifestyle Magazine. Jason McCourty, uh, Tennessee Titans, here with my twin brother. Devin McCourty, uh, New England Patriots. I'm here with uh, Power Play Lifestyle Magazine. Power Player Lifestyle Magazine. We are here again at the Bliss Spa at the W Hotel in Hollywood, California. And NBA All-Star Weekend, we are here with... Royce Reed, of the Twins Basketball Wives, and Woo! other things. And other things, Royce. Yes. Pleasure to have you here. Thank you. So what are your plans for the weekend? It's All-Star Weekend. What's going on? I just want to have a good time. 
you know, no drama, just be <laughs> happy, you no, know, just be happy and just, you know, meet a lot of people and mm -hmm. just, like I said, have a good time. Are all the other wives here too? I have no idea. Oh, okay. That's what you mean by no drama. <laughs> you know, I know there's a lot of drama on that show. <laughs> it is, but I mean, if they're here, I hope they have a good time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really speak to, you know, a lot of them. I speak to Susie, Ashley. Um, I know they're here, so mm -hmm. hopefully I'll meet up with them for a few events. Okay. A couple things I want to talk to you about. Okay, the book. Yes. What is the book about, like, specifically? Um, the book is based off, it's loosely based off of my life and some of my friends' life in college. Mm -hmm. And it kind of touches on the side that people don't talk about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you hear about, okay, it's either a party school or it's all education. They don't talk about the dark side or the emotional side. So, I mean, you have a girl who goes through a rape. You have a girl who goes through um, the HIV scare. You know, mm -hmm. you have all that. It's very real. Mm -hmm. It's um, an easy read. And... Um, I think it's it's geared more towards like the um, seniors in high school or women mm -hmm. who have been in college or are there now. Mm -hmm. And um, in the dedication, you know, I say this book is for you and it will be some of you. Okay. And they're not alone. So. This sounds great. And the dancing. I mean, are you a dancer? Yes. Yeah, okay. What kind of dancing do you do like growing um, up? I've been dancing for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trained in ballet, jazz, mm -hmm. hip-hop, a little bit of tap. Mm -hmm. um, lyrical is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And... I'm just going to dance until my legs fall off, I guess. <laughs> it's just awesome. me. Awesome. And people and, don't actually realize how much you really have to run. How, how do you, like when you wake up in the morning, what's like a typical day? Just like run through. Um, a typical day for me is wake up, get Braylon ready for school, take him to school, come home, either have a phone conference or be on my way to a meeting, mm -hmm. um, starting the second book. And then, I mean, I... I I try to be a little domestic, so I try to like do a lot of things myself. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you. Are you going to go get the massage, get a facial? Do you have uh, uh, pedicures, manicures? Are you going to do any of that stuff here? Yeah, I'll probably do the manicure and probably the facial. You know, uh -huh. I got straight off the plane, so I have little bags under my eyes. Like, make well, it you look great today. for just getting off the plane. You know? Relax today. Yeah, yeah, I need everything. that. I like to give a shout out to Power Play Lifestyle Magazine. That, again, this is Royce Reed from VH1's Basketball Wives, as well as the 14 city tour for a play called Cheaters, Dance to Live, Fan of Chic, and College Girls. All right, got a lot <laughs> going on. Thank you so much. Have a great time this weekend. It's a pleasure. All right. Hey, Power Players, Brent Lowe, back again at the NBA All-Star Weekend at the W Hotel, Bliss Spa, and we are here with... Poncho Hodges. Poncho, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm blessed. I recently just got married, I'm working on True Blood Season 4, shooting that right now. Things are great. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So what's it been like shooting True Blood? It's an amazing show, man. <laughs> it's been great because I'm a fan of the show. So for me, it's, it's, you know, it's an ultimate uh, satisfaction being a fan of something and then you get to work on it. So I'm, I'm just having a great time. Okay. So what can we expect for season four? It's, it's going to be crazy as usual. You know, you can always expect from True Blood for it to be a lot of risque stuff going on, mm -hmm. a lot of crazy stuff, uh, a lot of good storylines going on now. Um, my character's name is Officer Trap. I can't really give, you mm -hmm. know, what, what's really going on. But, um, yeah, you'll be seeing a lot of me this season. Okay. Um, anything outside of True Blood that you might be working on that you can? Uh, yeah, about? I shot a movie not too long ago with uh, Ving Rhames uh, that should be coming on, coming out sometime called The Wrath of Cain. Um, a lot of people know me from I did a big episode of Law and Order uh, about four or five years ago that was a really big episode. I played a basketball player accused of murder, mm -hmm. um, and just been doing some other things, a couple other films, License to Wed, and a couple other TV shows. The Game. Uh, a lot of people know me from being on The Game in season, uh, the 2007 season. So things are going good, man. I'm just looking forward to the future. Good, man. You're blessed. You're yeah, blessed. definitely blessed. Now, it is the NBA All-Star Weekend. Yeah. And you know L.A. is crazy <laughs> right yeah. now, man. Oh, it's yeah, like yeah, there are, yeah. there's not a single hotel room available. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so what are you getting into? I know you're getting into something this week. Well, you know what? This is, this is like my – I've done NBA All-Star Weekend so many times before. So for me, it's not a really big deal. It's just a, I, I look forward to the fact that I get to see a lot of my old friends because I used to play basketball. And so a lot of my friends would be in town that I haven't seen in years. And also uh, my wife, she's never been to something like this. So I want to just take her out and – you know, have her experience it and enjoy yourself. So, you know, I'm going to do Kenny Smith's party tonight, and then tomorrow I'm just kind of – I might go to the Playboy Mansion with her tomorrow. I'm just kind of call, you know, call it by ear and just have a good time. Well, this sounds like a lot of fun, man. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, you know, thank you so much for being here. Are you going to go you. get any of the spa treatments at the, at the Bliss Spa? Definitely, or? man. My wife is already getting her nails done. She's enjoying it, and I'm about to walk around and maybe get a, you know, get a massage and everything and just, you know, just enjoy the ambiance. Just have a good time. 
All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being thank here. For man. I really me, man. appreciate I it. I really appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. All right, guys. We are here at the Bliss Bar, Hollywood, California. What's up, guys? This is Poncho Hodges. You'll see me on season four of True Blood this season. You are now watching Power Player Lifestyle. Hunter Wilde here at the W Hotel at the Bliss Spa with the one and only Elise Neal. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, my neck feels so much better. I feel taller. And she, the, the, the neck is <laughs> a result neck, of a neck beautiful massage, massage yeah, here at the good. Bliss. Yeah, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what Elise is doing in 2011. You know, so far it's been a really good year. You know, a um, lot of ups and downs. I was on a great television show for NBC called The Cape. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we're not going to be picked up for our next season. I like but, you know, I absolutely love the fact that after all this time, I'm still doing TV. I'm still doing the projects that I love. And The Cape was really a great show. And they're still going to um, show all 10 episodes. So even those fans who were kind of like iffy, I got to tell you, those last three episodes are amazing, off the chain. I'm, I'm running for my life, jumping on a train. <laughs> you, you know, then you're going to be like, dang, we should have hung in there with that show. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I want people to see. Yeah. Anything else in the works? Um, actually, tonight I'm having the cast of a new uh, HBO Funny or Die skit called The Burn Unit on HBO, uh -huh. 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Everybody should check it out. It is hilarious. And I just love the fact that I was able to be involved with Funny or Die. And Lou Nell, who's like one of the most queens love of comedy. Her. She was one of the co-producers. Uh, Paula J. Parker, Anna Marie Hortsford, and myself. And let me tell you, for my fans who usually think I'm the sweet girl, when I, because I'm acting, I am chain smoking, cursing, <laughs> running after my cheating boyfriend. A whole new It you. is a departure that people will crack up about so I'm excited to see it. I'm bringing the whole cast to the house tonight before everybody hits the you know the parties tonight. Yay, yay, yeah. good. Cool. Well congratulations. Thank you very much. Always good to see you. You too. Hey it's Elise Neal and you are watching Power Players Lifestyle magazine. Hi, this is Christopher Brown with the Power Player Lifestyle Magazine here at the Bliss Spa, the W Hotel in Hollywood, California. And I'm here with Taekwon Underwood. How you doing, my man? Pretty good. Um, so, welcome to LA. Uh, where are you from exactly? I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey. East Coast. So, uh, when did you get into LA? Uh, we got here yesterday. Yesterday? Flew in with a few of the guys, and we're just here for All Star Weekend, just enjoying the weekend. So, how's it going for you so far? Pretty good. Went out last night. Uh, as soon as we touched down, went to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Of course, you got to try Roscoe's in L.A. <laughs> yep, had a great meal, and uh, just looking forward to the re remaining days here. Now, I understand you guys have an event that you guys are putting on tomorrow night or tonight? Tonight, actually. Tonight, what is it? Uh, we're throwing a party with a guy named Brent down there at Club B-52 downtown. I've heard of yet, downtown. And, yep, and uh, Ray J is going to be there and hoping to draw a nice crowd tonight. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, tell me a little bit about, you know, what you do and um, just the sport that you play and just what kind of what's going on with your career right now. Uh, this is my, this will be my third year in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Got drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars, play wide receiver. And uh, it's, it's been a great ride, man. It's been a lifelong dream that I've had for a long time to make it to this level and to actually be doing it and have friends that are also in the league on different teams. It's, it's a dream come true. Now, the Power Player Lifestyle Magazine is about focusing on people who are power players in their particular field, okay. whether it be business, sports, or whatever. You've made it. You're in the NFL. You said it's a lifelong dream. How, how do you really feel about that, and what, what do you want to do with your position now, that you've got a place of, you, you've got a position of influence? So what do you would like to do with that? Uh, I, I talk to kids in middle schools a lot, okay. because that's the age where they're starting to make decisions for themselves. And I remember when I was in middle school, I would love when a, a person that I looked up to, like an athlete, a producer, anything like that, a, a lawyer would come in and speak to us. So I try to go out, talk to kids, and just give them some words of encouragement and influence. That's really, really good. Do you have like a nonprofit that you put together to do that or you just kind of do it on a volunteer just basis? Just volunteer basis. Wow, that's really impressive. Yes, sir. Do you, do you have any visions for the future of maybe doing like a nonprofit and related to kids? Absolutely. Cool. I, I'm, this is only my third year, so I'm getting used to it. I get you. And uh, I get I'm, I'm going to build on it. It's been volunteer work, but like you said, I'm going to make something out of it one day. Well, fantastic. Go. Yeah. So, Taekwondo, it was nice see meeting you and having you here with the Power Player Lifestyle Magazine. We look forward to seeing a lot of good things coming from you in the future. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Taekwondo Underwood, Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm tuning into the Power Player Lifestyle Magazine. <laughs>